I'm going to show you eight ways to fix not hearing text messages when received. If you miss any important messages, let me know in the comments. I know this can lead to not receiving important messages and can be extremely frustrating. So I want to make sure I'm able to resolve this for you so you can get back to responding to your friends, family, or even work as soon as the message is received and not have to check your phone all the time. Please stay to the end because you will never know when these steps will come in handy. And they are great to know in case you come up with any problems in the future. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join. All right, these steps are gonna go in order to easiest to hardest, so we'll be able to quickly get it resolved for you. One of the main things that people always forget, and I know I did when I first got an iPhone, is the switch on the side. You gotta be careful of that switch on the side. If it is turned red, you will not hear notifications. So make sure you flip it, and when you do flip it, you'll see silent mode turned off at the very top. That means it is now on and you should receive the messages. Next thing you wanna do is make sure your volume is turned up all the way. Just push the up volume on the side of your phone and you'll see it go up. You can see it on the side there, I'm pushing it down and now back up. So if that is up, that is great. Another issue people have is they don't get the alert from their messages. They hear everything else, but for some reason messages don't come in. So what we wanna do is go into our messages. Once you're in here, go ahead and choose someone. Tap on their picture and then go ahead and choose info. Here you have the option to hide alerts. You wanna make sure this is turned off. This will hide the alerts from this person. Or if it's a group chat, it'll hide the alerts and the sound from this group chat. A lot of times these hide alerts get turned on by mistake and people miss them. This is just specific to this specific person. So if you turn it on, it is now not gonna go ahead and give me any alerts. If I go ahead and hit done and I go back out, now I have mine pinned so you can see the moon. That moon there, that basically means that there's no alerts coming. It's on do not disturb. So if you have a pinned message that you know you're not receiving, a lot of times you could just look to see if that moon's there. If it is there again, you would just tap on the person, tap on their picture, hit the info, and go ahead and choose hide alert and turn it off. Let's say you're in a group message and you're not getting alerts. You could scroll down and you can see hide alerts there. If for some reason it's not on, you can always go ahead and choose leave conversation and then just rejoin it, just start a new message to get back in. This is another way to do it, but hide alerts, just turning that off is the quickest way. But if you're not getting messages from this and you're getting it for everyone else and hide alerts isn't the issue, definitely leave conversation. I know it can be a little confusing. The next ones will be a lot easier, so stick with me. <laughs> if you're still not hearing the messages, go ahead and choose settings. Let's go and choose sound and haptics. In here under the ringer alerts, you wanna make sure this bar's turned up. If I try to change it on right now, my ringtone's gonna play, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do it right now. So you can go ahead and move this setting by itself. You also have a change with buttons option. If you turn that on, it'll change with your volume when you go up and down, just like you are listening to music. If not, it'll keep it separate. Back at settings, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and choose notifications. When in notifications, we're looking for messages. Let's go ahead and choose that. Here we wanna make sure it says allow notifications. If this is turned off, you're not gonna receive any text message notifications at all. So make sure allow is turned on here. And you can also have it in different areas. If you want it on the banner, notification center, lock screen, I have it all three. And then my banner style, I have temporary. So it comes down and goes away. It doesn't just stay there until I touch it and push it up. Back to settings, we wanna go ahead and choose general software update, and then pull down and see if there's any software updates. You wanna make sure you keep your phone up to date. From time to time, Apple will release software that has problems, and they usually push another software uh, version up pretty soon to fix that. So make sure you're updated so that's not a problem. Restarting the phone will also help. So let's go ahead and choose general. We're gonna scroll to the bottom and choose shutdown. And then you're gonna slide the power off. Once the phone's turned off, go ahead and turn it back on by pushing the side button and it'll come back on. If that's still not working, if none of these steps helped, it's probably a setting that's causing the problem 
or there could be a physical problem with your speaker. So the next thing we wanna do is check the software. 95% of the time it's gonna be a software issue unless you dropped it in water. And if you dropped it in water, I have a whole nother guide for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the screen here. Make sure you check that out and make sure you follow those steps. It'll really get your phone taken care of. And you're gonna to wanna to know that information quickly. So if your phone's wet, go there now. If not, let's go ahead and choose reset, reset all settings. So this isn't gonna delete your data at all, but it is gonna get rid of your settings and make you set them up again. So once you go ahead and reset this, that should take care of it. If not, the next thing would be to do a full erase of everything, including your information, but you wanna make sure everything's backed up before doing that. Apple Store would be the next stop after that if it is still in warranty. With all these steps, we should get it resolved. So I hope they do. If so, please let me know what step fixed it for you. That helps me gauge what I need to concentrate more when I make content. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you for the view. And here's another video I really think you should check out.